Welcome back to another show, everybody. This is you, Nate Roscoe, and of course, I am Roscoe. And today's show, we're going to be doing a reaction to the song The Return by Machine Gun Kelly. You know, and uh, uh, this was suggested by Christine Whitfield. Let me make sure I got there. Yep. Yeah. Christine Whitfield, thank you for the suggestion. Um, I appreciate you. Um, she actually uh, noted or said that um, this will probably be a good place to kind of just uh, not only uh, start with him, even though I've done a reaction or two um, with him already, but uh, just to get kind of his story a bit, you know what I mean? So uh, that'll be fun. But before I continue, I just want to ask that anybody who hasn't, that they please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell. That way you'll be reminded of every single time future shows are being published. So uh me i'm gonna go ahead and get this started and they say they know me fuck out of here only god knows what i've been through man so if you want to talk get your facts straight first and uh just to let everybody know uh, as far as i know there's no uh uh visual for this so and if you really want to know, know let me ask you something have you ever walked in the shoes of a giant or had to fill the position of a boss before you were even the client it's no wonder growing up under the roof of a tyrant that i would be the poster boy for defiance now i'm the voice of the silence Stop being yeah that's that that's deep uh have you ever walked in the shoes of a giant or had to fill the position of a boss before you were even a client it's no wonder growing up under the roof of a tyrant that I would be the poster boy for defiance. Um, not sure who we came up uh, in the household with, but uh, sounds like a very oppressive situation going on, uh, going on in there. You know, um, we'll keep it going to just to see how much deeper this goes. Quiet, I've seen 20 years worth of violence. I'm tired, it's a burden for me to open my eyes. Not an undercover cop, but it's safe to say that I'm wired. I can't even get a grip on my life of pliers. I'm fucked up in that. Yeah, that, that was a nice line of uh, that. Um, wired, not an undercover cop, all that stuff. That was good. Close my eyes cause I see demons round my bed So depressed open, I'm up hoping I'm dead Thought the fame would make it better But it only fucked me over Never used to touch a bottle Now I'm hardly ever sober People wanna be my friend But where the fuck were y'all when I was 10? 11 and 12 getting bullied and beat up in the gym I couldn't never get a girl Now all of a sudden I'm the man Students try to get back cool with me again Fuck them all Man, that really sounds like a kid Dealing with a lot right there, man so like one of these kids that's going to uh, do some crazy things at school or something. Um, let me read through some of this. Uh, uh, but where the fuck were y'all when I was 10, 11, 12, getting bullied and beat up in the gym? I can never get a girl. Now all of a sudden I'm going to ask you to try to get that cool with me again. Man. Uh, a tale we've heard, uh, unfortunately, um, fortunately, a lot of times from uh, a lot of artists, you know, um, people and just regular people, whatever. But um, yeah, you start off at a point where people are just kind of uh, dismissing you and all this other stuff, and then um, the tables turn at some point for uh, you know varying reasons. But yeah, that shit happens, man. Where they gon' be when my record stopped playing Gone with the wind off in the record shop Saying that Kells fell off I knew it would happen Stop hating cause a month ago You was all over my jock Saying that I'm that motherfucker But now I'm whack motherfucker Opinions change but you cannot change facts motherfucker If you want bullet points then call me a get motherfucker I'll lay my home yeah, I like that if you want bullet points Then call me a get Let's go Life felt like a mad motherfucker Man, I've experienced some things that would stop you from meeting My schizophrenic cousin tried to end my life while I'm sleeping My bummy uncle won't yeah. um, I, I've had to deal, my mom was a schizophrenic So definitely know uh, what dealing with that's like 
Oh, now that he sees me succeeding My mama left me for a teacher Lost my dad to the preaching Half my friends are buried six feet All the rest in the precinct Literally watched my grandmother die from diabetes I guess my prayers were answered When my aunt got cancer and beat it Now I wanna get her out of job Give her the guard and the beating I did a Rest in peace to my, to my aunt Sylvia, man. You know, she was, uh, she's not here no more. My mom's sister, man, she was, uh, she was a good lady, man. Very, very good lady, man. And um, I miss that lady, so shout out to my aunt Sylvia. A lot of bad shit. God got even, but for the price I had to pay, I wish I'd stop breathing. My girl sat in the bathtub, eight hours bleeding. Hearing the doctor tell us our child's heart stopped beating. Fuck a million. I wouldn't take a dollar for a life, but I will do what's in my heart and trade this dollar for a mic. I wrote the song in hopes that it could help someone get through the night with no intentions of getting paid. I'm just doing what is right. I do it for the fans. Know the real fans who stuck with me through the storm, cause they understand that there's a genuine pain. Behind the words I'm saying, and they embrace me. So I thank y'all for staying. Giving love to the to the fans that stuck with them, man. Um, that's always uh, important. You know, you gotta definitely uh, ride with who's been riding with you. You know, so definitely uh, an important shout out. Ain't it crazy that passion is my Achilles heel? Either that or keeping it way too real. But they don't know how it feels to feed off the energy of a crowd. Step on stage and they get loud. And Dad, I'ma make you proud. I know we don't speak right now, but I think turning new leaves what we need right now. I love you, and you may not see right now, but I'm begging for forgiveness. I'm on my knees right now. You saw your son as a dropout, stuck around when I ran. Saw your son as a feather, now see your son as a man. See your son be a Father, to yeah, there's a lot of deep, deep conversations being had, man. Uh, oof, shit. Uh, it, it's just reminding me that, like, uh, the, the, I can't talk to my dad no more. He's not here no more. But, um, you know, um, that's one of those things that kind of sucks is that, um, you know, and this is for anybody, but, you know, I'm talking about me personally. Uh, at this point, but um, yeah, shit. There's there's so many deep conversations that um, I wish I would have been able to have with with this guy, dude. And um, yeah, we just ain't gonna be able to have him no more. None of that stuff. But um, it, it's life stuff, you know. Um, now I'm just happy that I'm able to be um. Uh, uh, be there for my kids, you know what I mean? Like, I could actually, like, have those conversations, you know, with them and, and that type of stuff when um, I didn't have that. So to be able to have that progression, <laughs> you know what I mean, or that evolution, if you want to call it that, in my lineage is, uh, is big for me, you know what I mean? Because of that, uh, you know, it's just, it's just weird life. Shit, I'm getting too deep here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is pulling out some shit right here, but let's keep it going. Beautiful child, just see your son, dad, see me smile. Who would have thought what started at the bottom would someday grow? From three people in the crowd, unpaid shows, six people in the room, one meal a day. Another opening act when no one knows my name. Saw the demos that I passed out laying on the ground. Saw the rappers I befriended copying my style. Saw opportunities pass while these fakes got rich. Now I can't stop speeding like my brakes ain't shit. For six months I went through hell and Man, most of us out here could write write books about our life, you know. Excuse me, but uh, yeah, this this definitely is a whole fucking novel right here. Just a lot of shit going on. Back, right at the height of my success, all of a sudden, doctor said I couldn't rap. I had a pile up on my vocal cords, left with a choice. Stop now or possibly lose my voice. Would have thought of what started at the bottom would say would someday grow from three people in the crowd on paid shows, six people in the room, one meal a day, another opening act when no one knows my name, saw the demos that I passed down laying on the ground, saw the rappers I befriended, copying my staff, 
So opportunities passed while these fakes got rich. Now I can't stop speeding like my brakes ain't shit. I can't say that. That's, that's nice. Uh, for six months, I went through hell and back right at the height of my success. All of a sudden, doctor said I couldn't rap. Damn. Uh, I had a pilot, whatever that is, on my vocal cords. Left with a choice, stop now or possibly lose my voice. Damn. Damn. That's deep, man. Um, and I don't know what could be, what could be more deep than um, somebody who uses their voice um, for a living. That's your instrument. And to have that possibly taken away, you know, um, had a possibility of your mind like that, that's uh, Jesus. My vocal cords left with a choice. Stop now or possibly lose my voice. But I woke up every morning and recorded till my throat swole shut. Talk blood up the every show because it hurt that much. I went weeks without even saying the word to myself. No health insurance, so got the bill piled on the shelf. But for my daughter and my fam and every single fan, I pushed through it. Now I'm back for y'all again. As for my competition, it's the beginning of the end. But right now, this is my re This is this song, man. Wow. Christine, that it, <laughs> this is a crazy song, yo. Turn a man, tell, tell. And they say they know me. They know me. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Turned by Machine Gun Kelly and uh, wow, that 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 was that was um uh, that was deep. I, I I mean that goes without saying, you know. But um that was like it it it, it drew me in without me even realizing what was happening from an emotional standpoint, dude. Like that song is so. Um, it tugs at your heartstrings so tough, dude. It's like crazy, you know, but I, it is something me and I didn't even realize what was happening. You know, I'm just looking at, listening and I'm like, fuck, dude, like you get sucked into this place. You know what I mean? It has you thinking about all these, um, it has you thinking about all these things, all these light moments and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it, it, just because uh, that song, this song had that, that ability to do that. Um, it's going to get a, like a big, uh, you know what I mean? It, 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 like it, this song goes past, like, you know, um, the production was cool and all that, you know, um, it, it actually just served the purpose of like just setting the stage for him to tell his story, but, um, beautiful, beautiful song, beautiful song because, uh, the way it elicited that emotion you know, and um, told his story and all that, but great um, song. Machine Gun Kelly did that, you know, and uh, that was a great suggestion, Christine, by the way, so thank you for that. Um, definitely very, very good song. So I am gonna get going, um, I guess to go, but before I do get up out of here, I wanna ask that everybody please like, comment, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the uh, subscribe uh, playlist option. Uh, make sure that you uh, pick the one name reaction shows, go watch those shows, like those shows. You know, also, also be making sure that you are uh, requesting anything that hasn't been reacted to already. And that's pretty much it. So, um, me, I got more recordings to do. So, Without further ado, I must leave you. Adios.